So in class, we've uh, been talking about different types of sequences and, and different types of uh, ways to represent them, different ways to write the functions. And we're going to talk about the recursive definition right now, recursive functions. So if I look at this sequence, remember each of these is a term in the sequence. And what I can talk about, uh, these terms come in order. You know, here's the first term, here's the second term, here's the third term, here's the fourth term. So this is just a way to think about that. I could write uh, the first uh, term is 20. Or I could write the fourth term, and man, this takes a long time, is 29. So we have a, a shorter function, uh, we, we have a shorter um, way to write this. So we want to be able to say this succinctly. So this whole sequence, this whole collection, I'm going to think of it as a function. In other words, if I tell you the term number, you can tell me the value of that term. So the third term is 26. The fourth term is 29. It's a function. So the whole thing, then, I'm going to call f. So the f stands for this entire sequence forever and ever, the collection. So now I can say, I can talk about, when I want to say the first term of f, I'm going to say f of 1. This is literally, um, literally saying uh, this part right here, the, sorry, the first term of f, the first term of f. So what is f of 1? Well, f of 1 is 20 because the first term is 20. Or I could, uh, I could use this notation for anything. So for example, what I said down below the, the next line, the fourth term is 29. Okay, great. So I could write it this way. F of four is 29. So what I'm literally saying is um, in the collection F, the fourth term is 29. In this collection F, the fourth term is 29. So that, um, you know, we could talk about if there was a, if there was a fifth term in this. And there is, um, and we know that there is because of the ellipsis. So F of five. Well, we know that this is arithmetic because it is changing by three. It's plus three each time. So that means that the uh, the fifth term, if the fourth term is 29, in order to get the fifth term, I add 3 to it. So that would be, uh, I don't know, 32 or something? Boom. And so think about what I said is um, to get a term, I add uh, 3 to the last term. Oops, sorry about that. So if I want the seventh term, let's say I wanted to know what the seventh term is. One way that I could get it, whatever the value of it is, I would add three to the sixth term, right? In order to get a value, to get a, to get a term, and by to get a term, I'm talking about the value of the term. Add three to the last term value, the value of the last term. So I take the value of uh, f of 6, add 3 to it, I get the value of f of 7. I take the sixth term, add 3 to it, I get the seventh term. And that's true no matter what. So like if I want the 30th term, I'm going to have to add 3 to something. And the thing I'm going to have to add 3 to is the term that came before 30th. So one less than this, the 29th term. So now, thinking about it that way, that allows me to, to generalize and to just write a general equation for this. I'm going to do it up here. So one thing I know what's going on is from these. If I want the value of a certain term, 
whoops. If I want the value of a certain term, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add 3 to the term that came before it. So notice that if I knew this was 30, I subtracted 1 to get 29. If I knew this was 7, I subtracted 1 to get 6. So if this is n, I'm going to subtract 1. And I don't know what that is at this point, but that's fine because whatever it is, whatever the value ends up being, it's just n minus 1. So there I have for this sequence, I have the rule. But the other thing I need to know is where do I start? Like where did this thing start at? So the first term is 20, I'll just say that. Uh, the first term is 20. So there's one way that I can write a uh, recursive definition for this sequence.